you back. Now I'm on my own today. Matt is going to join us from at home. We've got so much coming up, like last week we've got a challenge and we've got some worship and memory verse and a bit of prayer time. So I hope you're going to get stuck in today. Um, and the first thing we're going to do is we're going to do the challenge. Okay, so today's challenge is to build something out of 20 pieces of Lego. So I have found 20 pieces of Lego just randomly um, and I'm going to have one minute to build an object and I don't know what that is going to be yet. And then Matt will do the same and then um, there'll be a judge to decide which is the best one or whatever it is. Okay, so what do I have to do? What, what's, what am I building? Pam, I'm going to give you one minute to build a bridge. Oh. On your marks, get set, <laughs> go! Oh my gosh. Okay, so I need to put it aside. the tree. I don't know why the tree's on there. Um, maybe it's just like a nice feature. There's some, there is a random object on there that's kind of in the way. But there are steps that go up the bridge and um, these bits are like if you wanted to slide into like the sea or river you can and then um, you can come down. This is actually um, a hedgehog just like making its way across the bridge. Um, so yeah, so Matt, your turn. <laughs> Good luck. <laughs> so this week's challenge, I've been informed, is to make something out of 20 pieces of Lego. So I've got 20 random pieces of Lego uh, that have been provided to me. I don't know what I'm meant to make, but I've got one minute to make it. Uh, so the first thing I need to know is, um, what am I meant to make? Lou, what, I, what, what have I got to make with these 20 pieces of Lego? A bridge. A bridge. I've got one minute to make a bridge. Go. my bridge. So this is why I think my bridge is better than Pam's bridge. I've not seen Pam's bridge but I'm fairly confident that my bridge is better than Pam's bridge and here's why. So first of all uh, mine is a mobile bridge. I know it looks like a car, it's not a car, it's actually a bridge. Uh, it's like a draw bridge so you can drive it around and cross whatever you need to with your bridge. Um, 
And then having arrived at your destination and used the bridge to traverse whatever you need to treat, you need to make a grand entrance. And so we have a door at the front for you to burst through and say, hello, I've arrived. And what better uh, when you arrive than a ninja? That's right, ninjas make great arrivals. That's what you want on your bridge. Um, so that's, that's that. Uh, and then at the back, you've got the wheels uh, to keep it in motion uh, and just, just a window, just, uh, just for artistic flair, almost like a surreal um, Picasso-esque type uh, window on the side. So that's clearly why mine is the better bridge. Hello everyone, I'm Tom. I'm the judge of this week's challenge because I've seen both bridges now, Pam's and Max. And I've got to say, any bridge that has a ninja on it has to win. So sorry Pam, you get nothing this week on the Lego Bridge Challenge. Matt gets a point which makes it one all going into next week, which means Matt and Pam need another challenge to see who's going to take the lead. So if you've got a challenge they can do, send it in to us, kids at hopebeckinsfield.co.uk. Get your parents to email in a challenge, or you may want to build the Lego Bridge and send us uh, your go at this week's challenge. One all. So now it's time for this week's memory burst, but before we do that, can you remember last week's for Morgan? It was, the Lord was my strength, and my defence. Now this week's memory verse is from when there was a big battle and Moses was praying and that's where this week's verse comes from but we will explain a little bit more about that after. So Morgan it's now over to you. Hey kids, today's Bible verse for you to remember is in Exodus, verse 17, chapter 15. It's a short one this week and it goes, the Lord is my banner. There's only three actions for this. Number one, the Lord. Secondly, is my. Lastly, banner. Altogether, that's the Lord is my banner. Exodus 17, 15. That's all for today. Now you give it a try. Today's memory verse is the Lord is my banner. So Moses built an altar and named it the Lord is my banner. This was after the Israelites defeated the Amalekites at Rephidim. They weren't an experienced army with the best commanders. They were merely herdsmen with women, children, animals and all of their possessions escaping slavery in Egypt. But they did not travel alone. The great general, the perfect protector, the Lord was with them. The very name used in the Bible is Jehovah Nissi, the Lord is my banner. When Moses raised his hands over the battle, Israel began to take a stronger position. So what does it mean for God to be our banner today? Banners are used to honour champions, celebrate occasions and to commemorate a patron, hero, a holy day. Banners are used for those who raise them, an act of celebration, remembrance or announcement. God is our banner because we live to celebrate and honour his faithfulness to us. God is our banner because we remember his words given to us in the Bible. God is our banner because we are his people in the world, making him visible and showing his beauty of his work. And God is our banner because he gives us an invitation to anyone who will one day believe in him, but does not know him yet. The Lord is our banner. So now it's time for us to pray. And this time we are going to thank God who is our banner for everything he's done for us and for who he is. So we're just going to think about that.
Okay, so this is now time for us to worship. Now, I want to encourage you to get up and move your furniture out of the way and join in with the actions. But if you don't feel like doing that, you could just concentrate on the words because this is our time to praise and thank God for what he, he does for us. So you could just sit and you could sing along or you could just focus on the words. Okay, let's go. In my wrestling, in my doubts, in my failures, you won't walk out. Your great love will lead me through. You are the peace in my troubled sea. Oh, you are the peace in my troubled sea. Silence, you won't let go. In the questions, your truth will hold. Your great love will lead me through. You are the peace in my troubled sea. Oh, you are the peace in my troubled sea. Touching every heart, I worship you. 
set in, sent in by Elise, and she's done a lovely picture, the Lord is my strength and my defence. And this is what you can do with this week's memory verse. You could make a banner, or you could colour in a picture of a banner and send it to us. And did you have a go at that challenge last week? So the Lovells had a go at that challenge, and this is what they did. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, go. Flick it, you didn't flick it. Oh. One, two, three, four, five, go. <laughs> no. One, two, three, four, five, go. Yeah. One, two, three, four, Five, go. Oh. And thank you for today. So we've had a lot more fun like we did last week. And all there is now is for us to pray. So dear Lord, I just want to thank you for watching over us and being our banner. And I just pray that you continue to do that this week. The Lord is our banner. Amen.